Okay, so now we're ready to attach connectors to our battery pack. We have some options. We can use this kind of connector, or we can use something like this. The advantage of using our own connectors that we purchase simply as connectors is that it makes it very easy for us to build extension cords or adapters or splitters. In this case, we're going to use this kind of connector. If we were to use this kind of connector, it has a male end and a female end. The male end has exposed prongs. We wouldn't want to attach this connector to our power source because if it were to touch a metal piece such as our bicycle frame, it would short the two leads uh, which would short circuit your battery. So always use the female connector for your battery pack. In this case, I'm actually contradicting myself in using the male connector, but that's because it's it's well shrouded shrouded so that you can't actually short circuit it very easily. Okay, so let's pull out our glue gun. We're going to take our connector and we're going to take some heat shrink as well. The heat shrink, as the name implies, shrinks when you apply heat. You can use a hot air gun or a hair, hair dryer. I don't know what they're called, I don't actually use one. If you have neither of those, you can use a really cheap lighter or really any source of heat. The first thing we're going to do though is use our glue gun to apply some glue right around the connector itself, up the connector a little bit. That gives us something to grip onto and it gives the glue something to grip onto as well. And down the wires, just a just a centimeter, or not even. This is to prevent the wires from getting, it's to provide strain relief, essentially. It um, protects the wires from getting yanked out of the, of the actual connector when you're pulling on it. I'll slide the heat shrink up a little bit, right over the glue, and then apply more glue on top of the heat shrink here. So this is all just to add strength to the whole thing. I'll heat up the heat shrink now to, to cause it to shrink. My glue wasn't quite solid yet. So now we strip the ends of our connector a little bit. And then we're going to attach these together. Make sure, in this case, we definitely want to use black for ground and red for positive. So our negative is our wire without the line. Before we twist these together though, we're going to put on, slide on some heat shrink. The heat shrink 
adds a little bit of strength, but mostly keeps our wires from shorting each other out. It's not entirely necessary, and if you don't want to purchase heat shrink, you can just use copious amounts of hot glue, which we're going to do anyways. So we're going to twist the black wires together. If you have this, it's called a third hand. It can be very useful. Now we will slide on our heat shrink over our solder points. And we'll fill it full of hot glue. The hot glue provides a lot of strength as well as insulation. It's easy to work with, it's non-toxic, and it's cheap. We can do one more connectivity test. So I plugged in the other end of the connector into our battery pack. And I'm touching the red wire now of the connector, and I'm going to touch it to the the other end of my, the other probe, to the positive terminal in my battery pack, and it works. We have a good connection there. Now the negative terminal. Good. And now we're going to check the black wire against the red wire to see if we have a short circuit anywhere. And we don't. So it's all good. It works well. Now that we know that we have good connections, we're going to cover up the screws and the springs on the outside with hot glue, again to provide insulation from short circuits, as well as to add strength so that these wires that we soldered on don't get torn off. So we make sure our lid is clean our desk. And then we make sure our, sure our battery box is closed so that if we have any excess glue, it won't go over the lip because that would prevent us from closing our box. As it is, if we do get glue coming too far over, um, hot glue is very easy to peel back, so so we'll be we'll be able to cut it away quite easily if we accidentally put on too much. We want to cover any exposed metal because that could cause a could cause a short circuit. We want to make sure that the glue is gripping onto both the box and the wires because that's how we add strength.
So we'll let that cool and, and set, and then we'll try to open our battery box.